Hi everyone, Trevor here. I'm going to go over how to import data from another Excel file. So I have here an Excel workbook. You'll want to go to the data tab. And just to show quite quickly, I'm going to bring up workbook one. I have a sheet here uh, with first name, last name, job title, website. And I want to import this data into book three. So to do that, we're going to go new query from file from Excel workbook. And then we're going to find our workbook, book one. And now here we have the opportunity to have a look and do some stuff with the data. We can select multiple items. So we want just sheet one and sheet three. We can do that. We can also choose to transform our data, which will bring up the Power Query Editor. So if we don't want anyone to see, say, column four, select column four, and we remove those. And we can also have it remove rows that we don't want. We can do filters and all sorts of things uh, to restrict access to specific types of data. So we're going to close and load. And brings up our columns and our header table. From here, you can filter. And what else is kind of cool is that in this way, Excel works kind of like a database. So if somebody were to update workbook one, so say we put in name Linus Tovals, then we save our data and it takes a little bit for it to update, but you can do a force refresh, clicking on the page with the little green button. And once that updates, you have to give it a minute here. It is a workbook, uh, it does some things. There we go, it's updated. Uh, do the force refresh. We see the data comes in. We don't see column four. Our data has been restricted, but we still give access to those who need it. So if you liked this video and found it useful or found it useful and you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe.